So I wanted to show guys how to create an electronic signature. This will help you save time. So no more printing documents to sign or fill them in and scan them back in. So the first thing you want to do is sign on a white blank piece of paper. So I've done that in advance. So your signature here, make it in, making it simple. And then the next thing you want to do is either scan that white paper in or take a clear picture of it. Once you've done that, you'll end up with what I have here. So this is the first step uh, with those things, uh, those other things having been done. Then you want to open the sniping tool on your PC. It's free on all Windows PCs. So you'd scroll onto your onto your start menu and just and just type sniping tool. So you'll be able to see this window. And what you want to do is snipe the portion of your signature that you don't want to appear in your electronic signature. So basically do that and then come file and save it to a location on your laptop. You need to remember this because that's important. You pick that image from that location. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to do is come to more tools. If you not if you don't already have this pane on your Adobe Reader, you can always get it from your tools also. Fill and sign in and it will open this, this pane. So then you want to click on sign and then add in issues. So when you add an issue, you come here to image and select image. And then when you click this, it will open to where you had selected, uh, where you had saved your signature. So the next thing you want to do is obviously apply if need be. And so I've already added the, the image that I'd recorded and you can save the initials so that you can have this signature always every time you want to sign a document and then click on apply. Okay, cool. So now if you want to sign, you can come and pick it up here so you can see your signature and you can, you can attach it anywhere. And then these three, basically what they do is, so if you want to make your signature smaller, you can do it that way. If you want to increase it in size, you can you can also increase it in size so as to fit the the space that you have in your document. And let's say you have added it in error, you can always delete it. Okay. So so these adds your signature. So let's add it there, and you can also move it to fit wherever you want. And as I said, to fit the size. And then this A B is when you want to type inside a form. So let's say you are filling in your name, Nash Tuo. So again, you don't need to print a form and then you know fill it in and then scan it in. You can always type and then again you can move this around as you wish. Then the other, this AB one, what it does, it's, it has two options. So you can also select this, which fills in within allocated boxes. So let's say you are filling in a date. So normally this would help with things like dates, May 1923. You see, so it, it puts the date, those numbers, or even your, whatever you're typing into the specific boxes within the form. And then let's say you are ticking on an option, yes or no. You can always use the tick box or you can use an X or you can use a dot depending on what you want. So hopefully this helps you save some time and paper. Awesome. See you in the next video. Bye.